Thank you, Jarvis. Uh, Jarvis joined us this year in the midst of the pandemic, very similar uh, to a lot of our staff. Uh, Jarvis is from Mississippi, but now lives in Washington, DC. And a lot of the work that he does as a program manager focuses on students of color and students at historically black colleges and universities. We're really proud of this talent that we've attracted to the Andrew Goodman Foundation. And you guys should know Alex Harris, the executive director, is a graduate of Spelman and Harvard, which is the perfect combination in, uh, in my mind. Uh, this moment that Alex spoke of and the moment to which Jarvis just sang is like nothing else. Uh, I want to put this in perspective because we are fortunate to have such a multi-generational group of loyal supporters and activists. For people who lived through the Second World War where, or the Vietnam War, where you could be drafted, you knew that you or your son or your dad could die in the war. If you were a different generation and you lived through AIDS, you knew that you, your friend, your college friend, your son, grandson, could die at any moment. And now we have the pandemic. Again, where you could die, a lot of us, especially if you have pre-existing conditions and if you're black or brown at any moment. So that's the moment that young people are coming of age for a lot of the people and folks that we work with, first time that they're going to vote is a moment like this. But we can relate to it if you have a certain age of any generation of what this must be like. But here's the landscape. Here's the landscape. We have 20 million students in college. The national voting average for college students, however, is 40.3. That's how many students voted in 2018. I got that number from Nancy Thomas. Nancy is on this call. Nancy is brilliant at Tufts University. And uh, I've called her out because of the research that we invest in to make the decisions that you're going to hear about of how we pivoted and how we're carefully crafting the strategy that we're asking you to invest in. So if 20 mil million students, that means 8 million students voted and 12 million students did not. When you think of the margin, Think of 12, 12 million students sitting there that could have changed the outcome of any number of elections, down ballot or presidential. So the three viruses that we talked about, COVID-19, voter suppression, and systemic racism. For Black people, it's like from 1619 to COVID-19. So that's, that's the kind of conversation that young people are having. And one other statistic I want to share with you of why you're going to hear about students of color. Students of color haven't voted at the rates they voted in in 2008 and 2012, since 2008 and 2012. And even though lots more students voted in 2018, uh, they haven't reached the levels of passion that they did in those periods that, that I talked about we're trying to get them there. So we're focusing on nine battleground states. We're in 26 states in Washington, DC, but we're focusing on nine for the purposes of this conversation, folks. Arizona, Florida, Georgia, Michigan, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Wisconsin. And you're gonna hear what we think is a model of the investment that we're making in Wisconsin. Serious investment, a lot of talent, and I want you to hear from our state organizer, Cecilia McDermott, who's a student at the University of Wisconsin as well. And hear what we're doing to ensure that we're helping students cure any mistakes on their ballots, which we call the voter verification project, what we're doing to turn out students and prepare them for all the challenges they will have so they can vote safely in Wisconsin and in the other eight battleground states. Cecilia. <laughs> 